What's up guys, so this is Varun here with some advice on why you shouldn't raise capital from a venture capitalist during an angel or a seed round. And this is advice I got a long long time ago at Jobspire. If you raise capital from a VC, and I'm talking from a big VC, at your angel or seed rounds, and if you don't do well, right, over the six, seven months, maybe the market's bad, maybe you still need some more time to get the product right, the VC will just drop you like a hot potato. Right? They'll just be like, I'm not investing in more, I don't care, it's a failed project. Because to a big VC, like 300 or 400 or 500k is nothing, right? And I'm talking about dollars. $500,000 is nothing to them. So they, they don't mind just dropping you because you're distracting to them. Um, whereas if you raise from smaller angels or if you do a seed round, those angel investors are interested in you and the idea and the problem that you're solving, right? So they will always make intros to bigger VCs. Now you might say, I've already raised from a VC, why can't I go to other VCs and raise, especially if this VC doesn't want to put in money into this company? Well, the problem with one VC saying no to you is that it now becomes a signaling issue. Now that one VC has said no to you, all the other VCs are going to be like, that VC said no, so we are going to say no as well. Right? So you basically create a bad environment for yourself by poor signaling because you've raised money from a VC at a seed round. Don't do it.